love the sage. This sage has absolutely saved me during this lockdown. I don't know about you. We have been um, saging every room. We sage after each one of these uh, live 11 11s we're saging in the morning we're saging in the bedroom after a, a night's sleep where there's been lots of dreams i don't know about you but it really has been uh, quite a few sleepless nights this week and that's because of the energy the energy of this weekend and this weekend i'm just going to move this because otherwise i'm just going to be waving at you all the way through let's give that to marilyn there we go um so the energy of the these few next days, the solstice, ah, oh, it really is phenomenal. You know, we say this every year. We, I've been saying it for 14 years now here at the Daisy Centre, and it really is, this year is epic. <laughs> I'm holding these clear quartz crystals. These remind me of the eggs, the dragon's eggs. And the dragon's eggs, if you've seen the Game of Thrones, Khaleesi, mother of all dragons, yay! <laughs> Um, and um, the uh, the energy of the dragon is that fire, that fire that clears, that cleanses, and um, uh, these um, beings of uh, of light are, are now the earth energies. They really are. The ley lines are known as the dragon lines, and the uh, energy flowing around the world. Um, to these ley lines, these dragon lines. And we have the Michael dragon line running right through the daisy centre here. So we're very affected by the energy um, as it goes up and goes down. Um, because it does, that's what it does. It clears and cleanses and moves um, quite a lot. Um, so, and it's very exciting. It's very, very um, energising. It really does get things going, get you going. So we are extremely, um, uh, well, in, in anticipation, extremely excited about what's happening over the next few days. So we're going to beam the angels of Avalon from the heart of Avalon, the heart of Glastonbury today for you, for you to take that breath, to really centre, to anchor. And as you centre and anchor this, anchor, this is all about, oh, what's happening to my teeth today? <laughs> so let's take a breath and calm down. I am just so excited, that's what the problem is. We have a big, And as we take this breath and just settle, anchor, earth, and allow the energy now to start to flow. This energy is flowing through from your great central sun, through from the cosmic star, through to your soul star, then from your soul star through to your heart star, to your earth star. So it comes all the way down through the cosmic galactic ley lines, through the synchronic lines, through the ley, ley lines, the micro lines, right through to your vital web, to your divine web. And so this energy is really flowing and that's what's going to be happening over the next three days. The portals are opening, the energy, the light is coming through, the solstice energy is phenomenal. It's a magnificent portal. And this year, we don't just have the 2020 awakening reset energies, the merging of the convergence. We also have the dragon awakening. The dra dragon of Avebury is awakening. But of course, there are dragons all over and every sacred site has a dragon. So the dragon of Glastonbury is also very active at this time. And so we are going to be... Uh, not just uh, going to Avebury to, tomorrow, we're going to go to the tour on, on Sunday um, for the, uh, the sunrise. So both sunrises, if you want to know more, then just email us, we'll let you know. It's all on our Facebook page. But today, it, this excitement, this rumble in your tummy, woo -hoo, I don't know about you, but mine is a roar, not a rumble. <laughs> really really coming through and these are my crystal eggs that I use for massage and they really get in to any 
part of the body that really needs to, to feel the crystal, the energy, a bit, bit stronger than just using your hands. Um, and they are all about new beginnings. They're all about this, this uh, new excitement. And of course, what happens um, with the dragon arising is he takes the old energy and he brings in new. More about that as the weekend unfolds. And so, are you ready now to just receive? I'm going to bring in the selenite wand because the selenite wand, this looks to me like the tool, isn't that fabulous? Brings in the angels. So we're bringing in the light through your light channel, through from the great central sun, as it flows from the top of your head to the tip of your toes right down into the earth as you anchor into the earth and bring the energy from the heart of Mother Earth, this beautiful crystal in the center of Mother Earth. Just draw upon this energy into your heart and lungs and just settle. And as you settle, as you bring this light in, this beautiful love as it flows, we're calling all the angels of awakening today, all of the angels to bring this energy through for you, to help you to be calm, to be zen, to be um, to, to recognize this excitement. Fear and excitement can feel the same. So if the fear arises, just breathe it out and breathe in the, ex the excitement. Breathe in the anticipation. Breathe in the joy that follows from uh, anticipation and excitement. And as you feel this joy, this joy in your heart now, I'm putting these in my pocket. I've had them in my pocket for a few days now, these beautiful crystal crystals. And as we bring in this energy through from the angels, the energy is pouring in through the point to bring it into your system. You turn that round and you really feel it coming in. And as it flows, you can put it into any of your chakras, into your throat. I'm going to do lots of speaking over the next few days. Into your heart, really pouring that light and focusing in the heart, in the solar plexus, in the sacral chakra and into the root chakra. And as it flows, and if you're really brave, you can do it into your third eye as well. Whoa! <laughs> oh, whoa! That really, did you see how quick I was at that? Because that really can, can make a big difference to your third eye. And when your third eye is um, activated, then it activates through your navel as well. So you put it through your navel, your sacral chakra, and that will also activate through your third eye and your, so your, your seeing and your knowing. And so this beautiful light, this wonderful energy, the angels of Avalon, the angels of the heart, the angels of Glastonbury, these angels are really, really pulsating this light, sending this love as we are slowly unfolding and waking up to these new, these new uh, moments of, of time. And as we are opening like that flower, literally day by day, moment by moment, just breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And don't forget to take the time for your ascension. We don't want to be so busy giving, giving, giving to miss your own ascension. So be mindful, be heartfelt for your own process as you take the time to just absorb this magnificent light, this magnificent love, this magnificent energy. This is just such a cool time to be awake, to be aware. And people say to me, what does awake mean? Awake means that you're conscious. You know, you've got um, uh, somebody who's fast asleep and you wake them up from their deep sleep and oh, 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 I need coffee. Um, and that's the, that's the not being fully aware of what's going on around you. So, and I believe that you wake up every day. Every day you wake up more, you wake up to a new beginning and every day is a new day. So it's just uh, just building upon that, that awakeness, that, that, that consciousness, that awareness that you have. And the angels of awareness from the angels of awakening, they help you with that as well. So 
beaming out this light, this love from the heart of Avalon, this beautiful selenite crystal looking like the tour, this wonderful space in, in Glastonbury where the 50 ley lines literally send out this energy out into the world. So as we beam this light, we beam this love, we're going to bring you a magnificent angelic etheric hug. This angelic etheric hug filled with love, filled with light just for you. We have the uh, motivational message today is Tina Turner doing the Om Nam Ram the mantra, oh my goodness me, it's so beautiful and it will really help you to get into that space and place of love. The, the events that are happening are all on my Facebook page, so please join me this evening at 7 Spirit. It's on the Soul and Spirit magazine Facebook page and that's where we will be sending out our, our Solstice Eve um, meditation and energies and there's a Q&A there as well. So looking forward to seeing you this evening or tomorrow morning at 4.30am. Blessings to you, lots and lots of love and have a wonderful time. Namaste.